Hey ya. Um, no, I'm not about to do something really weird. Yeah. Uh, I am, was about to move myself out of Gillard's room. Um, and then I kind of just went, oh crap. I just jumped back into bed. <laughs> and so I'm, I'm in bed now and I'm just like, ah. You know, and you just like, throw your feet around in the sheets and you're just like, <laughs> Well, this is what I'm looking at. That's ceiling, obviously, yes. Window. And me. So, um, Situ is hostel until Thursday, right? So, sorry. Um, hostel until Thursday. Um, and uh, Thursday being the 17th, I sent some requests through to um, Airbnb hosts and they've uh, rejected because they've got guests who, ex who are extending their stay. Or some of them, I think, because I wrote to them in English, they're like, oh, I don't speak English, so I can't help you. Um, now, look, got a roof over my head. Plan at the moment has completely changed from when I initially arrived because um, I'm now wanting to do Ackley. Ackley is a uh, summer camp of teaching English around Italy. So my two mates, yeah, shout out to these two. Uh, Ian and Zach um, from South Africa who are currently here in Bologna um, studying their masters have said to me that uh, they've done Ackley numerous times and they're just like you just need to do it you just have to do it you're the right kind of person to do that kind of stuff so so yeah. it took me a while to kind of go okay what do I really want to do and what is my purpose here um, and I realized you know what I am here to in Italy because it's my own personal journey, it's like a self-discovery type situ, but, um, and I didn't want Ackley to take me away from, you know, doing, uh, being relaxed and, and understanding the culture of, of Italy and stuff, but Ackley actually will immerse me into that, so, and give me a little bit of pocket money and accommodation, um, and I'll meet some awesome basic families and things like that as well, so, Ackley is in the summer, so June right up until I think. Um, October? I don't know. And, uh, and so it changes my accommodation situation. Before I was looking for something for about three to six months, now I'm looking for something for two months because I need to take it to right through to June. So, yeah, uh, it's made it even trickier, but everything will work out. Um, and talking to Mama and my sis yesterday, I was like, phew. But, um, look, today I'm going to the hostel, so I've got to hurry up and get out of Gila's room, because he's probably going to be home soon. Um, and uh, I'm going to book my accommodation from the 17th onwards, so that's Thursday onwards. Um, and then I've got to uh, submit my acclay. Um, yeah, come in. Submit my acclay as well as, I'll just be a sec, as well as, um, not only submit my acclay, but also prep my docs for my open muscle disorder journal. So, yeah, oh, excited, and I really gotta get out of Gila's room, and Yako's, um, come in, Yako. Hey, uh, okay. so, um, Yako. Hola! <laughs> is actually helping me with my big suitcase. Yeah, it's fucking heavy, boy. It's fucking heavy. <laughs> and, uh, and yeah, uh, I've got my big bag, as you can see. Oh, and the wine glass, I'll explain that later. Um, <laughs> but we're on uh, our way to my hostel, which is just, just, hey, over, uh, just over so there. Made it in, and that's, that's yeah, that's, that's the bed. I've messed it up, because some reviews said there were bugs in the beds, so and no, no bugs, no bugs. But basically, this is, this is what I'm dealing with at the moment. Front door bed and uh Yako's basically found her room for the night hey Yako you have haven't you Yako hello guys <laughs> how are you it's cozy look here have a look there you go can you see it done and done da, da, da. <laughs> all right so check this out so you saw the room before and now we change it <laughs> just to make it a little more cozy really so uh yeah beds over there and as you can see all of my laundry because Gilad let me um clean it in his 
or wash it at his bed. Um, he did tell me, tell me it takes about three days, so he was like, just take it with you, take it to a laundromat, whatever. Um, but yeah, I just thought I'd hang it here. Um, yeah, now we're gonna go find somewhere to eat. Are you hungry? I'm hungry. Oh, and check this out, right? So there's a piece of paper, okay, in one of the drawers uh, in the desk, and uh, Yako grabs it, and guess what she does with it? Ta-da! <laughs> Holy gummy, boy! <laughs> Alright, so, um, if they I didn't tell you... They're crazy. No, they're not. They already think you're crazy. <laughs> they're not going to think it. They already know that. Um, but, uh, Yako is, uh, Jap. the... Jap. The, <laughs> the Jap. She wants me to say the Jap. Um, who moved into Gillard's, uh, as the second Airbnb guest that I was telling you earlier. So, um, yeah. So I'm gonna go enjoy my cell and uh, find somewhere to live. Right. Hi guys, so I just ate, I ate, I drank mezzo litro. Mezzo litro. Um, yeah, so I just uh, drank mezzo litro. Like, that's half a litre right there. So it's about four and a half of me. Okay. And uh, what time is it now? Yako. What time is it now? It's um, <laughs> quarter to five. So, all in good time. Um, two ladies that were sitting to our right actually thought that I'm an alcoholic. Asked my age. Maybe you are. Right. And then uh, she basically just said to me, yeah, that's why. Because you're young and you drink half a litre on your own. So, four euros. Who can, who can get angry on four euros? It's right? like, why not? You know? I mean, I paid 150 for my hostel. So, why not? <laughs> but yeah, we're here with these two lovely ladies. Oh, Ciao. Ciao. And uh, basically we're just here trying to decide whether we're going to have pizza or dessert. Because apparently the desserts are raving now. Where are we again? I don't know. <laughs> I took a photo of the menu, so I'll tell you later. Okay. Ciao. Ciao.